Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. And also welcome to another Tag It Tuesday. Today I am making, um, I think it's going to be my marathon uh, tag, which is going to be super duper quick. Um, I'm using my tag dies, which are back in stock. Um, then I'm using this little tab here, and this goes with one of my smaller dies. Um, I'll have a link to it on my blog. And then I'm using this die here, and this is from my Springtime in Paris set, okay? So we're gonna be using we're gonna be doing some foiling today. So what I did was I cut out the little Eiffel Tower using the um it's the toner ink paper that came with this machine. And then I also cut out the little tab die, I guess that's what you call it. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put it in the little folder that this machine had came with. So let's see if I could get them both. Uh, hopefully I can. We're going to go ahead and just put it in there and make a little sandwich, sandwich out of that. Just like so. Okay. So now that we've done that part, we're just going to go ahead and just run it through the machine. Super simple. Like I told you before. I didn't want anything to do with this. I was trying to stay away from this. <laughs> but all of the cute and simple projects that can be made with this, I had I had to just break down and get it. Because it was just, and plus the deal I had gotten with it. Um, I got it with it, I think it was like a 24-hour scrapbooking day at HSN. And it was like probably $30 off the regular price. Um, it was a steal, and it came with a lot of stuff too. Okay, so this is coming out, and I'm using that, obviously you could see, it's this paper here, um, this foil, let me see if I have the little name of it, um, oh, it's right here on my face, I'm using this one here, and this one is called Pink Melon, okay, pretty, pretty color. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we are going to go ahead and just turn this off. And there, there is a little on and off switch in, switch in the back there, okay? So I'm just going to put this aside. It is hot, by the way. That, that This little machine heats up like in no time at all. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and open this up. And then grab our pieces out of here. And in the meantime, I had actually used some of that paper tray ink um, polka dot vellum. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just kind of put this on top of here. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to adhere this down. So we're going to go ahead and put this on there first. So we're going to go ahead and take off. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see the stitching in it as well. Super pretty. Okay. So we're going to do, but before we do that, we're going to go ahead and put this on first on the little tab die right there. I'm going to go ahead. There is a little um, score line in the center. So you just want to go ahead and just score it like so. And then we're going to go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's put that on last because I have to figure out where I'm going to, how I'm going to adhere that down without seeing the adhesive, okay? So now I'm going to be using one of my older sets, which just got revised, by the way. This one's called Wow So Many Candles. Um, I'm super excited this is back in. But the thing is, like, give me a few days because this is just like my sample. Um, and I do have some I need I could put in the store right away. But to give me a few days to update it. But I just want to let you, it, let you know that it is back in stock. And we're using the sentiment um, Wish Big, okay? So I'm going to put that here. Now, the thing is that I'm not sure... I'm trying to figure out if I want to use, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on using some Stazon ink, okay, being that um, because it's vellum, you know what I'm saying? I just want to make sure we ink this up really good. And then I'm also going to um, heat emboss this. Maybe this card won't be as quick as I thought it was going to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss it as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this here. 
wish big. Came out a little bit of, I moved it as you could see. So the stamp isn't as crisp. Good thing I cut out two of these. Let me go grab the second one really quick. Okay, I have my second piece right here for you. This seems really odd because I'm actually filming on the opposite side of my craft table this time because that's where I decided to put my little machine, my little mink machine. Okay, so if it seems like weird, it's because it is, <laughs> because I'm on the opposite side of my craft table today. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp this here. Okie dokie. There we go. Much, much better. So now what I'm going to do, being that it's, st hopefully it's still wet, I'm just going to grab some clear embossing powder really quick, um, just to help it stand out. And I should have used my embossing powder, but it's okay, actually. I was going to just, because you can't really, it's not going to be a big deal if it's anywhere else, to be honest with you. I bet you it's drying because I do have my fan on in, on in my room because it was like 200 degrees today. So it felt like at least. Okay, let me go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heat this with my heat tool really quick. Okay, unfortunately, <laughs> my fan kind of dried it up really quick. So it didn't really good, give that much of an effect on it. But there's a little bit of sparkly in the wish in the wish part. So anyways, it's okay. You know, I'm not even going to let it bother me. It's going to leave it alone. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, kind of put that there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put this, I'm not going to pop anything up. I'm just going to go ahead and put it directly onto the tag. That'll probably be my best bet. And I'm just using some um, multi-medium glue here, which seemed to work really well the last time I used it on my other card when I made that little bike it seemed to work actually really good so that's what I'm going to use here uh oh I got some on the other side but that's alright so you don't want to get adhesive on the front of it so we'll try not to at least okay so now that we have that piece on what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just put some adhesive right behind here. I could tell I'm running out of this, darn it. Okay, we're going to put it right behind there. So this way it could be covered, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead. So this way we won't have any adhesive showing through the actual tag. Hopefully that makes sense. Okie dokie. And then now, what we are going... Let me just try to check my battery life here. Okay, it looks good so far. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just put adhesive on this little tab thingy here. Sometimes you have to spread it so it won't bleed out all over the place there. And let me just put some here. Yes, like I was saying, today was 104 degrees. Well, yesterday, I should say, was 104 degrees. I couldn't believe it. Thank God we just got my air conditioner fixed on my car. Otherwise, I would have died for sure. I, I love summer, but I don't like the heat. That's just me. I never was a person for heat. So fall is my best friend. Fall and winter. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to put this like so. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some... I'm not sure what I did wrong there, but there's like a little... Oh, okay, I'm going to act like I didn't see that, okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some sequins here to it really quickly. Um, Hopefully it'll look better in the picture right now. It looks maybe because everything's still wet. It'll probably just needs to dry to dry up just a teensy bit. Okay, let me grab some tweezers and then we're gonna go ahead and just adhere these down really quick. And I was gonna throw some ribbon on it. Nothing major. I'm gonna keep this simple. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. 
And then get this one on here. And this little guy right here. And that's it. The only thing I'm going to add to is the ribbon at the top, but I'm going to do that off camera, okay, everybody? So hopefully you enjoyed my tag today. Super quick and simple. Um, don't forget to check my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my awesome design team has made. Come check out their awesome tags uh, on my blog. Okay, everybody? So thank you so much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.